Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I have a much requested video. I made two different videos, like, probably about a year ago, or maybe, I don't know, nine months ago or something. I made one about Style Haul and one about FameBit, and my experience with each of those different platforms slash networks. And I wanted to do kind of an update because some things have changed. A lot of you guys were asking a ton of the same questions in the comments of those videos. And both of those videos are getting a lot of views and a lot of comments, so I wanted to just make a video response because it's really hard for me to respond to each person individually. Hope you guys can understand. So yeah, I wanted to talk about that, and then I also just wanted to talk about how I get free products and how I make money on YouTube as well because those are very common questions that I've been getting lately as well. So let's get into it. First thing, Style Haul, they released me at the time when I made that video. I was just kind of like, yeah, I got released, but I don't really know. Like, I had just gotten released. So... They did release me, everything was fine, they paid me fairly and everything like that, so nothing bad to say about that. And I will just say that I make a ton more money on Google AdSense. A lot of, That's the biggest question people are asking, how does the money compare with Google? I make way more with just Google. Um, I still am not making a living off of YouTube alone, but you know, I definitely have seen my rates and it's a steady increase every month. My payout is more and more each month, so I'm not really sure, I mean, Style Hall was taking a percentage <clears throat> of my Google AdSense money, so I mean, they weren't helping me get any more money, if that makes any sense. So yeah, if you're looking to disconnect with the network, I say go for it. Um, that's my personal experience, I make more money. That's really the biggest update for that. Now for FameBit, I did want to tell you guys that a few things have changed. They now have a subscriber count, minimum of 5,000 subscribers to join the, the platform. And I think that's really all the, oh, oh yeah, they also support like Instagram sponsorships and maybe like Twitter shout outs or something like that. They, they support a bunch of different platforms now as well, not just YouTube. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Um, wish I could take part in it, but fun fact, they kicked me off of, of Fame, but yeah, I know it's weird because the like manager or whatever of Fame, but he actually commented on my video. He told me he was going to send me a shirt, which he actually never did, um, but I understand things get busy and whatever. Um, and you know, he was grateful for my review and I was like, wow, that's cool. Uh, fast forward a few months and randomly I log into my FameBit account and I also was getting a ton of referrals from that, that video. You know, I keep a referral link down below and I was getting, I get, you get like points for each sign up through that link and I had gotten a lot. I'd actually already redeemed. I think a 25 or $35 for a gift card. And I was saving up for something else, something bigger, because I have like lighting equipment, cameras, laptops, things like that. And I was getting a lot of referrals, so I was saving them up. Log on to FameBit one day, and I am, they were like, you've been banned. And I was like, what? <sighs> so I'm gonna try to go through this quickly. I really didn't get a ton more sponsorships since I made that video. I just feel like for a channel of my size, FameBit isn't really optimized for us. And so I do kind of support why they went up to 5,000 subscribers. But yeah, so I wasn't really getting a ton of sponsorships. I did get one. I got a few, but this one in particular happened right before I got banned. And the company was a nightmare. The company was a nightmare. Um, I don't even know where to begin. They were this company, it was a shoe company. The description of the sponsorship said, you know, an inclusion in a video, um, it had no specifics about anything. Like it literally just said that, you know, X amount of dollars to include this product in your video. I was like, all right, cool. I'll do a sort of like get ready with me, you know, outfit video and ex include the shoes. Filmed it, it was a beautiful video, a great video. The video's up, but it doesn't include this product. We'll get to that later. Um, but it was a great video. Everybody liked it. <laughs> Sent it into them. They took forever to respond. I mean, I think it was like two weeks. And I had been emailing them. Like, I was like, hey, have you gotten a chance to review the video? Hey, because like I filmed it outside. I had my boyfriend help me film. I don't have a ton of time. Like, I needed to know if I needed to reach you. The weather gets cold here. It was like fall when I did it. So I was worried it was going to start snowing. I just needed to know, you know. They finally got back to me and was like, they were like, um, you, what did they say? They were like, oh, you just need to include a link in the description box or something. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Like a specific like bit.ly link. So like, all right, awesome. Added it. Is it good to go now? And they're like, oh no, actually you need to include the like 
model number of the shoes or like the the style name whatever of the shoes in the video and I was like well the video was basically like a get ready with me with me narrating it wasn't like I was saying hey and today I'm using this it was like a voiceover so I was like that really doesn't fit with the video and I already did the voiceover can I just link it whatever you never said that in the um the proposal thing and they were like we went back and forth and basically they were just like really unprofessional with me and they were like how dare you think that you could get a sponsorship and not even include the model number or whatever which like I was including the name of the flats I included the brand of the shoe I just didn't want to say model a a F C whatever you know what I mean like that seemed tacky to me and I was like my viewers aren't gonna respond well to that they're gonna immediately not that I try to hide that it's sponsored but I kind of tried to blend it in so it doesn't seem so like buy these like you know and I was explaining that to him and it was a $50 sponsorship it was not like to me that's just not enough to be like stressing out over you know so I was basically like take it or leave it like this is what you got we finally decided not to do it so I told them, I was like, I'll send the shoes back. Where do you want them sent back? Whatever. Um, <clears throat> and that was that. And I was like, cool, $50 I don't have and I really don't care about. When I logged on to Famebit and they said I got banned, I thought it was because of that. And I thought that somebody from the company like complained about me or I didn't really know what the proper protocol was to back out of a sponsorship. Um, I still don't know. I would assume maybe email Adam or something and ask him, like tell him what's going on and tell me when I back out because there's no official like, withdraw from campaign. I work with brand backers sometimes, which is a similar thing for bloggers. And there is a thing on there that says like withdraw from campaign. They don't have that on fame bit. So whatever. So anyway, I thought that I got banned because of this bad relationship with the sponsor. I email Adam and I was just like, Hey, like just wanted to check in and see, you know, I got banned with no warning. If it was something that I did or something that I said or whatever. I just want to know like why you know it would be nice to get a warning and at least and I said you know and I have a bunch of points saved up I did this review for you guys which has quite a few views and I've gotten tons of referrals so I'd at least at the very least like to be paid for that and he was very nice semi I mean he he did admit that it was a, a mistake on their their part for not telling me why I was banned and he did end up paying me for the sponsorship that the people were very unprofessional in and then also paying me for my referral points. Now get this, here's the reason why I was banned. Not because of that sponsorship, he had no, no idea about that and that was very nice of him to pay me for it. I got banned because I work for a competitor. <laughs> they are kind of a competitor but the thing is we're really not because we offer free products to YouTubers. Famebit does not. Famebit offers sponsorships, paid sponsorship. It's a completely different thing. They're working with a completely different market of YouTubers. Um, but I get how we're kind of con competitors, but like I said, he did make it right. So I'm not super offended, but with that said, a lot of you guys are asking me for Famebit updates and things like that. I really can't give you any besides what I see on the internet, you know, of uh, that they changed their subscriber count and they now support Instagram and stuff. So that's my long Famebit story. Um, I'm not trying to bash them. I'm trying to keep it professional. I'm just saying, you know, I was a little hurt in that whole situation. I thought I could have at least gotten, hey, by the way, thanks for the review. But just so you know, we don't allow this, whatever. Um, but anyway, so I don't use Famebit to get sponsorships anymore. Um, really not a big deal because I wasn't getting a ton anyway. I make my money on YouTube. This is something that I haven't talked about too much. And I'm going to try to keep this video short because it's already getting pretty long. But um, I don't think I've ever really talked about this before. The main way that I make money on YouTube is through referral links. And I don't even mean like the Famebit thing, the Famebit referrals. I do have a, um, a referral for Octoly if you guys want to join. Uh, I'll leave that down below. I do get points for it, which I can redeem for gift cards. If you are an Octoly user, you can do the same thing. But that's how I get free products is through Octoly. I will leave a video down below explaining all of that. I'm not going to go into it too much here, but they don't pay me. The way that I make money is through referral links. I use skim links. I will leave my referral link for that down below. I will get something if you sign up through that link. So I would appreciate it if you do want to sign up, if you use my link and also using that as a disclaimer, 
whatever. People get all mad about it sometimes. That's the thing with referral links. People do sometimes get mad that you're profiting off of their clicks, but you know, if they're going to, they're going to buy it anyway, and you're the one introducing the product or the service or whatever, I see nothing immoral or wrong with it. Um, so yeah, I use skim links and you do have to have a blog to use skim links. I'm going to poke around before I post this video and see if there's any specifically for YouTube. But you do have to have a blog to get into skim links, but then you can use the links anywhere. So you can use them on YouTube, you can use them on Twitter, Facebook, like wherever. And basically in every video, if say I do a makeup tutorial, I list every single uh, makeup item that I use in that video and I make a referral code, a referral link, which there's a toolbar for Google Chrome um, that basically when you're on any website, you can click on it and it'll show you exactly how much commission you'll make if any, and it'll give you a little um, link. And mine are always, you can tell they're a referral link by, they'll say fave.co, I think. And then I copy that and put it in my description box. So every time somebody makes a purchase through that link, I get a commission. Sometimes it's as little as 1%, sometimes it's as much as 10%. And uh, that's the biggest way that I make money on YouTube, besides Google Ads. And I make more money through referral links than Google AdSense. So that's the big secret. Um, it's really not much of a secret. Again, some people don't like it. I know some people are going to tell me they don't like it. They're not ever going to click on my links and that's fine. Um, I do try to market um, most of the time. In the beginning I wasn't because I was like, I'm not, I don't need to, whatever. But then I kind of just started to just out of a courtesy. I don't think you have to. I don't think the FTC requires that you do, but I do just because I think it's fair to you guys to know if I'm making a cut off of your clicks. So that's how I make money on YouTube. And also sponsorships, of course. I don't do them too much anymore just because I've been so busy and it's been hard for me to like make consistent videos. And when I work with a sponsor, I really like to be able to say this is exactly what you're going to get. This is exactly how much time and effort I'm going to put into it. And this is exactly when it will be up. And with my schedule lately, it's just been hard for me to like really put the quality and time into the videos that I've wanted to. And, um, also just to be like, Hey, this is exactly when it'll be up. So I haven't been doing a ton, but you know, I do do them from time to time. And that's a whole nother story. If you guys would like some advice on how to work with brands, how to find sponsorships without a platform like Famebit, you know, how much to charge, how much to ask for. If you'd like a video like that, let me know. And I will think about doing it because I do have a lot to say, um, about that topic. I've worked with some really fun, fun brands. <laughs> I mean that seriously and sarcastically. So yeah, um, that's the big secret. That's my favorite update, my style haul update. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video wasn't too rambly. I hope it answered all your questions. And I hope just goodness in the world. And I hope no drama. I hope nobody hates on me for referral links or for saying what I said about Famebit, which was just the honest truth in my experience. I'm not mad at them, so don't be mad at them either. I'm just, I was letting you guys know because everybody's asking me for updates. I can't give you updates. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below if you'd like to be notified every time I post new videos. You can also thumbs up this video if it's helpful for you. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.